Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dungeons and Dragons. This might be delightful news for some people though. Cynthia Williams is gone. She's stepping down, step, I'm using finger quotes, stepping down from her totally role. She decided to resign on her own, quote, quote, quote. Uh -huh. She absolutely positively got shit canned. I, I speak corporate. This they woman got fired. Said, oh, I'm sorry. You can't say witch. Uh, wizard. You can't say witch, but you can still say wizard. Wizard. On her watch, Wizards of the Coast and Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering has had unprecedented PR disasters. Mm -hmm. The OGL debacle, the Pinkertons debacle, uh, Magic the Gathering being overproduced. Uh, lots of people getting fired from wizards, um, people saying dumb shit on behalf of Wizards of the Coast, them uh, getting busted multiple times using AI art, even though they claim they weren't. Now if we can just get rid of the cock, we'll be great. If we can get rid of Chris Cox, we'll be fantastic. But um, yeah, and I, actually what probably did it at the end of the day was the sales. We did the video the other day talking about how they were down 30%. And, you know, it doesn't matter what you do or how much you piss the fans off or even make the fans happy at these companies, these corporations. It's what you bring to the table. It's and all now about money. it's all about the money. And if you're not bringing the money and people are running away from your actively running away from your products, then you got to change at the top. But they have to get rid of Chris Cox because this is a guy who's made multiple comments saying that he was effectively okay with them strip mining 50 years of D&D modules and then just using AI to regurgitate this stuff. Like, that's not going to go over well. Just just so you know. But let's uh, talk about this bit of news. And, and this is right after yesterday. Um, I was making fun of this, that, that they were uh, becoming kind of like a fashion show. D&D dresses. Yes, the Converse sneakers and all that. Freaking kimono. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> Who the hell is this for? And uh, somebody the actually, audience they want. The, uh, this is not the audience that they have, though. The audience they have are a bunch of, I hate to break it to you, um, but the diehards were the middle-aged dudes. Question, how much, they say how much this stuff costs? Um, a lot. Because here's my thing. Okay, here's my thing. I know the Converse sneakers were like a, like a hundred and some bucks a pair or whatever. Yeah. How much is this stuff? Go down. $50, $102. No, would you rather, I, I'm confused, uh, Hasbro. Would you rather people go spend uh, seventy six thirty five on pants or spend that on Dungeons and Dragons merchandise? Like, I mean, like to play the game that you get right. money for. Like, would you oh, that's on... unfortunate. <laughs> oh Maybe God. it's intentional. Would you rather someone pay eighty two dollars for an apron <laughs> dress or buy some of your books that you have to put on bargain basement pricing to clear out? Her snatch has teeth and a tongue. <laughs> so does this one over here? Look to the to the right. That's yeah. a displacer. It's just got tentacles with spikes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this yesterday. Your snatch has teeth. Now the black dress next to it. It's a mimic. Pretty. Oh my god. Actually, but this doesn't say D and D to me at all. No, right? but I'm just saying, like people, you're you're when you're doing this, and there's bondagey looking stuff. Hey, um, people are gonna go buy that, and not buy the stuff you need to sell. They've got I'm a freaking saying. dungeon map inside a blazer. I, I got something to show you. Oh my god, my snatch has teeth. Uh, I met like the dungeon map. This, we're gonna, I'm gonna open oh. my coat into you know in my underwear, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you like we're gonna do this and this in the dungeon, and everybody's gonna be like, "What kind of dungeon are we talking about?" Um, <laughs> roller high roller die. This looks like a haunted mansion. It does. But that t-shirt, $50 for the t-shirt. For a t-shirt. $65, $63 for a t-shirt. Oh my God. I wish I had you in that other video yesterday. This is just like, that's actually pretty cool. That's like, okay. That's that is bad. pretty cool. Anyway, $108 let's. $108 though. Let's get back to There's her. There's a lot of Wizards merchandise at Hasbro that could be sold. But this is the the kind of decisions that you would expect somebody that, look, I mean, not to, not to be that guy, but somebody that looks like this to make. Like she looks like um, a soccer okay. mom. She, okay. Or, she looks like Ina Garten from Food Network. I, when I see her, all I keep thinking of seeing is barefoot Contessa. <laughs> I'm just like, she, she, she does not look like a, a d and Wizards of the Coast person. She looks like a Food Network host, not somebody that should be in charge of Dungeons and & Dragons and Magic the Gathering. She doesn't look like she's ever played those games ever in but her life. But she came from gaming, though, didn't she? She came from Microsoft. 
Well, she apparently has played things. Well, she's played video games or casual games, but she's never. She's. I, I mean, I. I, I don't. I could be wrong. Play those games either. But, but I don't. I play Sum Sums. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, she looks like somebody that plays a lot of like Candy Crush Saga or something, and not Sum Sum D and D. Yeah, hey, Sum Sums are cool. So let's talk about this. This is no, big, no, huge no, news. No, no, no. Wargamer.com has it. And please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, by the way. Um, Wizards of the Coast president Cynthia Williams steps down. I'm sure it was her decision. Oh, yeah, completely. Uh, Hasbro's digital gaming and and WotC CEO Cynthia Williams has resigned from her position, leaving the company next week, just in time for the 50th anniversary. Right after they had their guys out there uh, attacking middle-aged older dudes, the guys who created the game, and joking about them being from the flyover states from the Midwest, and they're they're just not progressive enough for modern D and D. Yeah, it's modern D and D where you where you have to go to to this black milk and buy you know hundred dollar jacket. Right, right, and beyond that, Converse. like they're bringing up Baldur's Gate, and I'm like, is she the reason that Larian left? Like. Because I think they started Baldur's Gate on somebody else's watch. I don't know. Because she hasn't been there that long. But let's see what they're saying. So, yeah, she's stepping down. As revealed by a an SEC commission filing. So they didn't even broadcast it. It was in a filing. She informed Hasbro of her resignation on April 15th and will leave her role on April 26th. Not even two weeks notice. No, nine days. The Magic the Gathering and D&D publisher has currently made no statement about William's departure or her reasons for leaving. We can only guess. We can only guess why she's out the damn door. Food ne- she's going to start a Food Network show. She's going to be a food. She's going to be like Dungeons and uh, Delicacies. And it's going to be like all the little like trendy little food shit. It's going to be like little octopus things. Anyway, go ahead. The filing states Hasbro is conducting a process to identify her successor, looking at both internal and external candidates. Uh, yeah, she's been there a while. People said she was only there a year. She's there February 2022. Oh, no, she's been there a while, yeah. Yep, taking over from Chris. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Chris Cox was in charge of Watsy, and then he became the Hasbro CEO. I don't think he should be the Hasbro CEO. This guy does not like toys. Um, he likes I'm sure he likes voice. some toys, just not the kind of toys that they're selling. Previously, her, her snatch has teeth. Uh, previously, Williams worked as general manager and VP on the gaming ecosystem commercial team at Microsoft. That's what I'm saying is, she came from gaming. Yeah. For this, she worked at Amazon. No Not, Food Network. No Food Network. Okay. During the two and a bit years that she served as Wizards president, the most major change is likely the ramping up of Magic: The Gathering universes beyond crossover releases. She also tried to do the OG. She's behind the OGL debacle. Yeah, they're not. They're not bringing that. They're not no. really. Oh, they are bringing no, they up do the downloads. Do, Here's do what again. she did right. They're saying that Lord of the Rings did really good. Uh, but the crossover thing, I think, is bizarre. The Lord like, of the Rings. You mean the one where they race bent everybody? Yes. Okay, so the white woman race bent a bunch of people. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Other wins for wizards were in the digital realm, like Baldur's Gate. Well, I don't think she had shit to do with that. That would have been Chris Cox saying that up, and and they would. Not well, they come back. decide they're not coming back, and then she gets gone. So I'm just, you know. But here we go. They had to put the positive spin on first. So let's rip the Band-Aid off now. These years have also seen their fair share of controversy in 2022. The ire of Magic players was raised by the release of the 30th Anniversary Edition, a commemorative collection of non-legal cards that cost $999. What? I not remember that. $999. I, I know they reprinted some of the... the uh, and then they charged that much for yeah, it? Yeah. But the, you can't use them because they're not legal? Yeah, you can't use them. So what's the fucking underage? point? No. I don't know. Do they have tentacles? They might. Yeah, she might have tentacles. Uh, but that the op- wasn't funny. I'm sorry. Go ahead, continue. Tentacles are always funny. Clearly, it wasn't funny. Go ahead, tentacles, continue. <laughs> tentacles are always funny until they're not. I mean, it just depends <laughs> on... Someone loses an eye and then it's, you know... Yeah, I mean, if you look at the faces on some of those anime girls, I don't think they're having as much fun as the people watching them no. are. I really don't. Okay, the up the uproar around that pales in comparison to the future... Uh, the Fuhrer, I'm sorry, the Fuhrer, <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> they hit Wizards early last year when it tried to make changes to the D&D OGL. The upheaval in the tabletop RPG community was so great that Wizards ultimately walked it back. Yes. And Pathfinder outsold them. Yeah. In terms of their financial performance, Hasbro's Wizards and uh, digital gaming sector had a record-breaking year in 2022, which she came in 2022, so she was like reaping the benefits of her predecessor. Um yeah, Magic became a billion-dollar brand because nobody could leave their houses. Mm-hmm. And everybody thought it was cool to get into nerd shit again. And it was the same with comic books. Now, now all these comic shops are shutting down. I just well, saw, you also have like – oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say I just saw a post the other day. Uh, I think Aaron Sparrow actually put it up. Um, 
Talking about in LA, another comic shop's going out of business. Yeah, I saw some like another it's... shop was thinking about closing. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't remember what I was going to say. Don't worry about it. It wasn't important. Wasn't as important as tentacles. No. Okay. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean no, I was cutting you off. It's my fault. I didn't mean to cut you off, cutting me you off. You off, yes. Uh, Stop interrupting when I'm interrupting. Go Stop ahead. interrupting <laughs> my interruption, everybody. Uh, yeah, so they had a dramatic round of layoffs in December of 2023. And they have a predicted revenue slump this year. Um, they said the story the story throughout this period, however, has been that Wizards has performed far better than the rest of Hasbro. Well, it doesn't help that Hasbro's betting on Disney IP and this shit's no. not selling. But now the, now the Dungeons & Dragons stuff is sitting at Ollie's too. It's on clearance too. They're doing like buy one, get two free books. At the, and I remember when TSR kind of imploded um, when I was a teenager. And all of a sudden, you would see all these these modules and stuff on clearance at at uh, KB. But usually, it came from you know when they'd change editions. Like nobody wanted first edition stuff anymore because second edition came out. But they would have modules that sat there for years. They had like Star Frontiers and all this stuff. It just like sat there for like. Well, now they get modules, and you could take them, and you can go get them over at um, Ollie's. <laughs> yeah, you can get all your you can get your the freaking hundred dollar Dragonlance board game, and you can uh, buy it for ten bucks at Ollie's. Yep. Three dollars for the campaign sets with the monster pogs, like ridiculous. This is a fifty dollars set. But speaking of Dragonlance, this is another thing they did. They pissed off the creators of a lot of their classic game worlds. You know, Margaret Wise has been man. She's been on fire. She's been out there on Twitter just like slamming Watsy every chance she gets, and they they got in a lawsuit with them and everything. They, yeah, I, the fact that they don't have a successor line lined up tells me that they pushed her ass out, or she did, or she just did this quit without notice, or she didn't want to. She didn't want to deal with it. Maybe she'll go. She'll go over to Paizo. And I was she say, could, maybe she's gonna go ruin something else. She'll go ruin something say, else. She might have gone off for a job to go ruin something else. Um, but yeah, it's just like, oh, secrets of Blackmore. My news even before I had my first cup of coffee. Things aren't going well at Wootsie. People are not sad at all about this. Does that change anything for any of you? No news about replacement yet. Yeah, no, we have no idea what's gonna happen. Um. Yeah, this is a fart in the wind. The entire culture and cast of characters needs to change for any meaningful improvement to take place. Here's the thing, though: she's only been there a couple, like a couple of years. Like, yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, but really. they've had more. They've had more controversy in the last two years. That's true. Than they've had in the last two decades. But, but you could also spin it. You've got more. You've got more coverage in the last couple of years since I've been here with the shit I've created than you've had for a while. Yeah. So there we go, the guys. The D&D won't suck any more sarcasm. No, we still have a, we still have a cock in there, so we're, we're still screwed. I, I, I would not be surprised. Look, there there is speculation. It's not our speculation necessarily, but people have been saying for years that they thought Wizards was either either going to prep uh, Dungeons and Dragons, the the D&D brand, for sale or outsource it. And maybe she caught wind of that, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm out of here." I mean, they laid a bunch of people off. I'm sure there's truth to it, and yeah, and that's yeah. why she's gone. I don't know. Either way. Either way, she's out the she's damn out door. The door. But uh, abandon all hope. I think if if you want to play proper D and D, those books are still available in PDF for okay, now. Wait to see who they replace her with. Oh my god. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like some like Tumblr looking like. Hey, that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. It's like, hey, congratulations, uh, everybody. We've got like everything that we've been pushing in D&D. Uh, this this uh, new CEO of the company fits fits that description. And uh, it's going to be fantastic. And Z or Z are going to be. C's, oh, my God. Z are going to be real great. Anyway. Z is going to be a fantastic CEO. Uh, there we go, guys. So they're going to chase all the remaining bigots out of the hobby and they can take their money with them. Uh, they're not going to Warhammer, though. That's a whole nother thing. <laughs> I know, right? All right. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.